Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Baltzer Gelt and it's for Grim Hammer 3. And last time I was considering either attacking Wissenland or the Vampires. Because I want Nuln Ironsides, but we also kinda need to stop the Vampires from murdering the Elector Counts. But the game kinda chose for us because Wissenland declared independence. And I'm actually so happy they did because it's kinda what I wanted to do. So we're just gonna conquer Wissenland and get ourselves some Ironsides. And we might lose... Sterland in the process because uh, they are pushing in and we'll see what happens to Averland But for now, we're just gonna get ourselves some iron sides and before we pass the turn We are just gonna level a little bit and we're gonna get evasion and some more Miller defense and that's gonna be good. Oh And I guess so. I, I guess we should repair that as well And we'll leave that now. We're we're gonna demolish that for growth very good Hello, Nordland. You want military access? Okay, I mean, sure, but <laughs> I doubt you'll be able to use it, but yeah, why, why not? Oh, and Wissenland is not going out without a fight, which, uh, I mean, you gotta respect it, but yeah, that's not gonna end well for them. I am glad that they're feeling confident, though, because that means they're not encircling us, so we're still getting our replenishment, which is excellent. And we're gonna need it, because Baltzar is at like a quarter health. So, yeah. I'm gonna need that replenishment. And we're just gonna move these guys back a little bit, because they should still be plenty in range. Uh, let's just pop up our crossbowmen. You're probably just gonna be part of the front line, because we're not gonna skirmish with you. Because there's a lot of crossbowmen. We'll pop you on the flanks. Because they'll just, they'll just sweep the flanks. And all of you frontline stuff. Let's grab you, you and you, the shielded people, and just uh, make a sturdy front line. They're gonna hold just fine. And I put the the most fragile one in the middle, which doesn't make any sense. Let's put up some great swords, some halberds, and some halberds. And I think that's everything. Well, oh, I think this should be up there, but that's everything. Good. And they are moving away. But Balthasar is on a horse. So we're just gonna start riding up and start casting a bunch of Gehenna's Golden Hounds. And well, the forest is gonna be unfortunate for the cannons, but it doesn't seem to matter. They have found a pretty good, pretty good little hole in the forest to shoot through. But I think we're just gonna... Hold off your ammo because you're not gonna get all those good hits, but ooh, can we get a good mortar volley? Ah, pretty scattered and just on the outskirts of stuff. That was pretty bad. But at least it reaches, which is very nice. Well, okay. It did reach. I guess it doesn't anymore. That's unfortunate, but we got a couple of good hits. And unfortunately, we're not fast enough to actually cast when they were in that beautiful blob right there in the middle. Oh, actually. Let's try to catch the, the mortar crew in a Golden Hounds of Gehenna's. Yes! Die, you pieces of shit! And went perfectly through that unit. That was very nice. I'm happy with that cast. Did some decent damage to the mortars, although they still have all the models, which, I mean, that's that's gonna be a thing. And we could cast Searing Dooms, but I think they're just gonna... Oh, we're actually perfectly outside the range. Um, but I think they're just gonna avoid it, so we're just gonna wait for some more Gehennas and keep casting it. Because they're just gonna start moving out once these guys come in, I think. So, we're just gonna get a bunch of damage. Oh, move out of the range. Because I don't want to take extra damage. So now they should be moving out, right? Yes? Yeah, kinda. Let's get a Gehenna's Golden Hounds right there. Keep getting damage on this. It's so good. <laughs> it's cost, it costs two magic. Which is pretty nuts, but... Yay, they are attacking now, which is excellent. You can start shooting over there. And we actually took a couple of hundred damage. From mostly through mortar fire, it seems. 
which is um, kind of annoying, but I mean, there's not much we can do about that. Oh, and they should have... Uh, there is some cav. Uh, cannons, cannons, cannons. Focus the horses. And we can just cast another Gehanna's on them. Does some pretty decent damage. Oh yeah. <laughs> just melts infantry. Which is excellent. And do we actually get any hits here? Because they went behind the damn forest. Well, that was a pretty good hit, actually. So, I'm not going to complain about... Oh, wait, you're routing. <laughs> I thought they were running back to the lines or something. But they are very slow to attack. What is what is going on here? Oh, well. Uh, I guess start shooting at those crossbowmen while... Uh, while we wait. Come on, you need to you need to attack. You are the attackers. You can't just sit back and do nothing this entire fight. This is ridiculous. But now they are moving out. Good. So let's. Uh... Oh shit, that's a long range. Those four men have very good range. We're gonna keep casting some golden hounds though, because we have more mana than we know what to do with. So let's just cast it right there. And it's gonna absolutely destroy them. Oh, shit! Oh, crap, what is happening? We're taking <laughs> lots of damage. Something hit me. That did loads of damage. And it gave us a bunch of uh, cooldown on all of our stuff. Okay, you're gonna sit back here for now. Because you are way too injured. Oh, and we've killed those idiots. So I guess just start shooting... Shoot that guy. I don't like that guy. I don't like the look of him. Oh, and uh, do you have an... Yeah, you have... A focus fire. So let's just halt you and let you shoot at whatever you want. Send you up the flank and try to hit some of those. And those are just Empire Knights. We have more, so we can go and kill them. Oh. Well, that's annoying. Let's uh, we'll pop one of those, and we are shooting back at them, but not hard enough, I don't, I don't think. So let's just send you in there, have you kill them. Oh, hello, halberds, meet greatswords. You're not gonna be friendly. <laughs> oh, let's kill those empire knights. Let's kill those Emperor Knights, but you'll move around and hit the rear. And where are we? There we are. Yeah, this is this is gonna go fine. But we are gonna pop some heal. And while you're at it, shoot in there. Because that's gonna be good. We're gonna pop some glittering robes on you. Send you in there, send you in there, and... Oh, you've already killed what you need to, it seems. Very nice. Let's move you up, move you up, so you can shoot stuff. And that's what we want. Now we're just gonna cast... Action. No, yeah. Oh! Oh, that's what did damage to me, I think. They have a Huntsman General. I completely missed that. And... Um, I guess we got mortared to death. <laughs> That's fine. It's not a big deal. You're trying your darndest. And the mortar is doing fine. Come on, get through there. It shouldn't be this hard. But those guys are done. Get through. Empire Knights are dying. And their Empire Knights are dead. Very good. And that's gonna break those. Move on to the next one. Very nice. Ah. Beautiful night charge into the archers. Oh. <laughs> and. Whoops. I think I hit one of my own guys there. But fire at will. And just fire at will. That is fine. You are still doing fine. 
And I guess cast some glittering robes on you. I don't know if we're being shot at, but just in case. And get a cast over there as well. Yeah, these guys are all dying. Well, except for these guys. You need to deal with that. Go on. Help over there, I suppose. And those crossbowmen are dead. Excellent. It's gonna get cast over there. Guess we can get a cast over there. And please focus him. Yeah, yeah let's kill this, uh, this hunt master. Where's there's the knight or the empire captain? Come on, kill him. Kill him. I think they've routed. No? He's still fighting back. Now oh, they routed. Very nice. So, they're gonna get away. So we're just gonna chase a little bit. So, I'm kinda annoyed that they just mostly stood there and didn't attack. But that would have been much easier if uh, Gelt was on his Quicksilver. Because then he's incredibly fast and he's flying. So... That would have been great, but we'll get there soon. I think he needs, like, level 16 or something like that. Hello. Um, yeah, sure. I'll grab some money for milita military access. And money is power. And I will gladly spend a thousand prestige for one, uh, one authority. Because we have plenty of prestige and I don't really have anything to spend it on. Because I don't really care about these two. We don't have any steam tanks or war wagons. But we are going to grab this when we have, have war wagons. But right now it doesn't really matter. And it's only war save for characters in province. Which uh, we only have two. So it's not very impactful. I guess this is fine. But we're just going to give this to like a secondary army. And uh, we have everything we want her here. Because uh, Balthazar can't grab any of those. Which is... Unfortunate, but oh well. And we're gonna grab final transmutation. Because uh, it's gonna be very good to have against Vlad, first of all. And also, we have... We can't spend our, all of our mana on uh, Gehenna's Golden Hounds and uh, Seri Doom, basically. So this is just gonna be excellent for sniping lords. Which is... Uh, which is fine. And it is funny that stage 3 gives the unit unbreakable. But, I mean, it doesn't last long, but uh, it is kind of funny that it does. So, you need more blade shield. Because you're just going to sit in melee and be a badass. So, let's go and uh, let's go kill this guy. We're going to pull out the garrison. And uh, I think we're just going to order solve this because this is just going to be the same battle again. So, they're dead. Excellent. Grab more replenishment. And we're just gonna go in and take Dottenbach. There we go. And we should be able to just waltz into Null next turn. I mean, they have some stuff, but uh, they don't have anything to protect it. <laughs> and Gelt is just constantly half dead. So. What does the. Overcast do in his foe. It increased the duration, which uh, I guess is gonna do way more damage then, and lowers middle defense even more. So it doesn't do area anymore. It sh it's just better single target. But yeah, I think we might just uh, overcast this shit on Vlad. But I don't know if this is showing the uh, overcast or not. Yeah, that is the upgraded. Okay. That's fine. So, basically just getting that for Vlad or ba really any any lords we're gonna fight. And I'm thinking maybe we're gonna get another lord now. Because we kind of want to take this. And, well, we don't need to take it, but I figured might as well end Wizenland. Ooh, and speaking of Wizenland... You should like that we're fighting. Oh. Oh, you're usually at war with Wissenden. Oh. How much for a... Oh, no. Not 14,000. 
I know I have a lot of money, but I'm not gonna have that much. So, um, the tech. Does that give, uh, I know one of these are elves. That's just high elves. Yeah, so, the knife airs is the ones. Yeah, all right. So, no, no diplomatic relations with wood elves. That's all right. Let's, hmm. Can grab some stone cutters, but I think we're gonna want some growth here. We'll get the trade resources soon enough. Yes. And we're still not gonna get anything there. But, um, I think we're gonna wait a l You know what? Nah. Let's just get the lord. So, do we get a arch lector or a general? I don't... I'm not gonna get a huntman general. It's fine. I think we're gonna go for a... A general of the empire, because I like their little handgun. And you are going to be at home for a bit. So noble isn't bad. Just make things construct faster. Yeah, let's grab that. And unfortunately, it's not taking effect retroactively. Because I think that would have made this faster. But oh well. So we are going to want... Uh, well, we are going to want a couple of pistol ears. And although... Now nah, we, we're gonna get war wagons eventually, so let's start by getting a couple of ha halberdiers. And pass. The and Talbicland. Also military access. Yeah, sure. Why not? So, let's... Oh! Um, okay. <laughs> I got worried there. Because... Uh, the screen didn't move and I couldn't do anything. But we got another quest battle, which we are going to do shortly. But I think we're going to do the... First of all, we need to replenish a bit. But also... I want some Outriders and I want some War Wagons. So we're going to get those before we do the quest battle, I think. But first, let's just take Null. And we can just auto-resolve this. It's very free. And just occupied normally. It's we're gonna have a little bit of down, downtime now, so we don't need the extra unit replenishment. I don't think. The there we go. Now. And I guess transmutation of lead is fine. We can grab glittering row, but I want to get to arcane conduit, so let's finish this side. And I guess everything is what we're going for. I am you ready. are gonna get even more I blade shield. Because you're going to have to stand up to Vlad and <laughs> I don't want you to get hit too much. But he is incredibly tanky. So Vlad is going to have... He's going to have a, a match to fight there. And we got lots of good things. I will marshal the men. So we are probably going to want Sterling's Revenge and we're probably going to put it in Baltzar Gelt's army. But since it is a regiment of renown, we can just leave it be for now. Oh, and we have tech to get. So, do we start extra armor for our infantry and maybe some extra middle defense wouldn't be bad. Just to be able to hold the line properly. Although, we can probably do that with just medical buffing. Because I should should cast the, the glittering robe and stuff like that on our front lines. I do like the respected elector. That is very nice and we're gonna just... Ev all of our armies get a nice little army ability. Also kind of want ammunition and reload time reduction for artillery. So maybe we go for that first. We're going to we're going to have a lot of artillery so this is going to be good. Yes. And two more turns. So I guess uh, get a couple of crossbowmen because you are going to have crossbowmen. And you don't have anything in here, but it's still a decent garrison, so you're not going to be able to take it. Ooh, actually, we have some stuff to give you. Well, we have a thing to give you. Because you're going to sit there and just be pretty. Ooh, Gambler's Armor. Charmed Shield or Gambler's Armor? Probably Charmed Shield, so you can have Gambler's Armor. Yeah. So, you're going to get that for... Research rate and construction time and uh, construction cost, which is great. 
You're gonna get some control. You're gonna get a coachman, a jailer, a scribe. Oh wait, do I don't know if uh, if Balthasar got a scribe. Ah, eh, either way, um, you'll get those. Do not waste my potential. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Good. So that's gonna make uh, things build even quicker. So it should be 50% now because he already had the trait of noble. So yeah, that's gonna be quick. You're gonna be excellent to have at home. Oh, are you declaring war on me? No, they are demanding a gift and I'm just gonna give it to them. I don't wanna fight Dorothy right now. Because we are absolutely fine on money, so I don't think we're gonna <laughs> start a war on Dirthu over... What was it, 2000? Yeah. But, I mean, we paid you. It was a gift. Yeah, so it is a gift. So, how about now? <laughs> we're down to 11,000. Just want that non-aggression pack, but that's fine. Let's... Uh, Start moving you home. And just, I guess that doesn't matter. I should probably go around in uh, in encamp stance because that gives us replenishment, but oh well. What does the Emperor bid? Let's just uh let's just hold off for a sec. Oh right. We should probably put a a commandment here and we're gonna go for growth. Because we want this to grow nice and healthy. Hello. So, you want a peace treaty. And you're at war with uh, Dursu right now. So, I'm going to say no. Because being at war with you, it's just going to be beneficial for us. And you're not going to live for long, so. Okay, how about now? Still minus two, but we are getting to positive, which is very nice. How much will this? 9,000. Okay. Let's wait a little bit more, because he's not attacking us, he's attacking Wizenland, which is fine. I don't really care about that. This is finally done, so now we can just go ham on this. And we are getting the, the siege workshop. That's gonna take two turns. Well, let's uh, step you outside. I'm gonna put you in there just to get more replenishment. Oh, um, I think we missed a turn of recruiting those. Oh, crap! Also, we haven't uh, we haven't recruited uh, the damn uh, the damn rifles. There we go. We want that cooldown to start again or start at all, because uh, the non iron sides are cool. I like them. It's not the Emperor's Wrath, but they're really cool though. So, we are gonna trade some stuff. You're gonna get all of the Free Company Militia. You're gonna get the Crossbowmen. You're gonna get the Empire Knights. And now you're out of space. Oh, because we're gonna grab that. And that's kind of your army. Enjoy! So... Actually, we're probably gonna get rid of that. All right, we'll uh, switch it for that. There we go. More of those, because they're good. So this is gonna be our front line. We're probably gonna grab a Sterling's Revenge, but then we're just gonna get hand gunners, war wagons, more mortars, I think, and uh, outriders with grenade launchers. So that's why we need a lot of space. And we're still gonna need a front line. And I think the Sterling's Revenge is gonna be part of that. Because they are actually pretty good at holding the line with... Uh, with uh, a good combat stats. And they got anti-infantry, anti which is nice. So we are gonna pop them in there. And we are gonna... Yeah, we're just gonna sit here for now. Hello, Carl. You... You want a lot of money for that military access. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, okay, they're mad that we're fighting Wissenden, whatever. 
We'll, we'll be fine soon enough. Oh, the Council of States. So, do we wanna... No, just buff up uh, Tala Becklands to 9, because it's uh, gonna be another, like, 10-ish turns before we can confederate Averland anyway. So, let's just pop them up. And Whistleland is destroyed. So, you're at neutral with us. We're only gonna go up to 2, which is a little bit annoying, but it's just mi minus 1 now. And 5,000 is pretty acceptable. I don't want to fight Durthu, because <laughs> we're going to be away fighting the uh, vampires. So I don't want to really just hang around and uh, fight those. And we have the bloody hands coming up. Although, they're not, they don't seem to be moving at us, which is great. And I guess you can start getting some magic, because you are... You're very low, and you'll get a caster soon enough. And... Where... Oh, we're at the field orb. We... Yeah, we need another tier 3 slot. Which, uh... I mean, I guess we'll get eventually. It'll be fine. Friendship is more valuable. And non-aggression pact for a little bit of money. Yeah, that's fine. Because I don't think there's really any of the um, electors that we that we um, want to fight, really. Oh, and you need to go and stop that rebellion. And that'll stop it. It's mostly just uh, provincial instability. And that's fine. So, yes, let us begin. Oh, and I see the unit caps haven't been uh, really implemented yet. But I want two grenade launchers. Uh, let's get like three war wagons. Let's get two mortars and uh, two hand gunners, and that's that's all we can fit. So I guess no Sterling's Revenge, or do we switch uh, like a halberd for a Sterling's Revenge? Because we do have a bunch of Eldred's Guard, and Sterling's Revenge are gonna be pretty nice against vampires. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, so let's recruit like this. Unless we want to get rid of like a war wagon, but I really like war wagons. I think they're sweet. And three hand gunners is good. And I want a bunch of mortars because we are the mortar faction in the Empire, so. Now, nah, um, I'm gonna stick to this. Yes, my lord. So, do you wanna get another halberd? Nah, you're good. You're gonna come with... Um, actually, you might just hold Fort Soul for us if these guys are gonna come over, but... We're still not attacking, which uh, is very surprising, but I'm not against it. And Sterland is dead, and I just realized that Averland, or Averheim, just got sacked, or raised, so... Yeah, that, that might be a problem. So... We're just gonna go and settle that and give it to to Averland. Because you will be fine if we don't tax you. You'll be done in two turns. To the province, so, do now. we... Yeah, let's get Sterling's re Revenge in here. Because I like Sterling's Revenge. That's uh, not where it lives. There it is. And they're still alive, which, uh, good on them. And they want to pay us for another aggression pact, which, yep. And Confederation. Um, how are you doing? Well, they're not bad. So, we can't grab this. But I think, I think we're going to assert their independence for now. Because they are, we can't really defend this right now. And Sterling is dead. We gotta resurrect, well, I, I say resurrect, kind of resurrect Averland. We're gonna return it to Elector. And I guess uh, get some mana. But hey, they actually get the city right away, which is, which is nice. And one more turn. We're taking a lot of attrition, but that's fine. We get a little look at this. 
I wonder what they got. Nothing. Nothing good, I suppose. Well, like, nothing good for us, I'm guessing. But one more turn, and we can move on. I trust our dealings. Uh, yeah, you can have military access. Go for it. Empire means empire. What? The Elector Council started a discussion about a new about new decrees that will reduce the amount of power they wield as a group across the whole empire, while also increase the autonomy of each of their states. It is essentially a step towards political decentralization with, uh, with those who oppose the planned decrees, even though even going as far as saying that it may be the beginning of the end of the great union of the empire. Putting your political efforts into preventing the decrees may be the best thing to do for the empire. But you must be tactful on how you pr uh, proceed with addressing such highly charged and important issue. Um, they're just going to spend prestige because we got plenty of it. Oh. And wait, where are those? Those are down here. Right, 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 right. So that's going to be hard to take for uh, the bloody hands now. Which is fine. But it is time to move out. So first of all, we have a quest battle to fight. Gentlemen, I will not lie. The chances of your survival are small. Some may even turn against your friends as living corpses. But you have my word that I will use my arcane gifts to ensure your bodies are given unto Moore's God. This is the greatest reward, more than even gold, for the fate of your soul is an eternal concern. Now come, follow me. Strike down the undead that rise against us. Allow me to find this eldritch amulet. I ask not for my own selfish studies, but for the good of the Empire. I don't know if including you're all gonna die and you're gonna fight your friends as zombies is uh, a great thing to include <laughs> in your speech. But, oh well. He found a way, I suppose. And I think the artillery is actually in a pretty good spot. So we're just going to grab everything else, put it over there, Come on, over there, there we go. And uh, we're going to put some halberds on the side, some spears, some great swords in the middle, some Sigmar suns in the middle, because they are very good at cutting through uh, vampire chaff stuff. And maybe this was a little bit wide, but like so. Uh, what else do we have? We have... Right, Sterling's Revenge. You can hang out over there. Or do we want you more central? No, we want you there. Because if you can, you're gonna go around and shoot stuff in the back. And some halberds there as well. And yeah, this might be a little bit off-center. Oh. Like so. That's fine. We're gonna put some iron sides in the middle, some hand gunners, and some hand gunners. We'll shoot through those little pockets, and they can also shoot over, which is fine. Uh, characters, and the war wagons are just gonna go and shoot at what they can because they're amazing. And the outriders are, well, find something for the outriders to shoot, but I don't think they're gonna go up here because I. Did I see hounds? No! Yeah, there we are. Some hounds. So, that's fine. Let's uh, send you up there. And the mortars are just gonna shoot grave guards. Yeah, skeleton warriors and... Uh, any more grave guards? No, skeleton warriors. And you're on a horse, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Let's uh, kill the White King with cannons then. That was a... I had some good volleys though. I wish the war wagons were a little bit faster, but oh well. Oh, there's even more hounds. Actually, can you just shoot the vampire lord, maybe? Ah, you're terrible at hitting. Maybe we should shoot something else. Doesn't seem to be hitting any. Let's give them a couple of more tries. And <laughs> the war wagons are hitting, though. Come on. Miss. Try to hit the camera instead. Miss. Come on! Uh, that just escaped or disappeared, but it didn't seem to do much damage. Oh, shit! 
Uh, we also have uh, a bunch of stuff on the edge. Uh, this is just zombies and skeletons. Okay. I guess send up uh, the Outriders and put up some guns. That's fine. Uh, wait, did we kill the Lord? <laughs> did we seriously just kill the Lord with with war wagons? Oh, that's amazing. Well, um, this is why I love the Outriders, though. Like, the right kind of Outriders. Because the grenade launchers are so satisfying. They're just gonna decimate these zombies. Very nice. And then they're just gonna pull back. Oh yeah, that's good damage. Let's pull you back. Let's pull you at an angle. You should be able to start shooting. And the White King is basically dead too. The war wagons are amazing. Love them. So, they have no lord and no heroes either. So now I guess the the cannons can shoot at whatever they want. And please kill these these zombies. And I gotta <laughs> I gotta keep an eye on the rest of the map because there might still be more even more uh, what you would call it reinforcements and we don't want that and the hound seems to be oh we should really cast some let's cast some hounds let's cast some some of that there we go and you need to pull away let's just go behind the lines oh there we go okay um a bunch of oh actually there's stuff coming from that angle too um okay pause <laughs> let's uh i guess send these guys over there Oh, and the war wagons could probably do something. But yeah, we have bats in our artillery line, which is not great. Deal with that, please. Bar that. Oh, crap. Get out of there. These zombies shouldn't be too much of a threat. If you could turn around. Yeah, okay, they're killing our... Killing our stuff. But there's also cav coming in, so I can't really pull those off. But we can turn you around, I suppose. But we seem to be dealing with them okay. How about you go in and just ride into those? Those are being shot by... Yeah, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Was not ready for a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of uh, oh shit they have hex rates ex as well um, I was not ready for a bunch of flyers I should have expected it but I didn't uh, let's final transmutations those shoot in there go in and help and actually just go in and fight there oh <laughs> hello dairy that's some good shit yeah, Sterling's Revenge is gonna do fine there. Let's bombard you. And you need to go and help with that. Let's turn you around. Send you over there. Okay, we're we're alright. Let's send some grenades. You Oh shit, you're being uh, You're being killed by zombies. They flanked around with zombies! <laughs> you bastards! Uh, that's fine. Let's uh, send you in there to fight. Let's get all of this good stuff. We should win this handily, but... Why not get some extra goodies in there? They should start crumbling. Yeah, there they go. So, we took a bunch of damage, but we are fine. It was mostly the surprise of uh, flyers in the back row, but that's alright. We got him. And that should be everything. Yeah. And there's even... A l okay, it looked like there was 91, but I guess it's 58. But it's still half of the unit still there, so this is fine. And can we please end it? Maybe? Okay. Um, there we go. <laughs> okay. We're good.
So the war wagons just deleted their lords, which was amazing. And it seems like the the uh, flyers did most of the work, and I think I think it was the grenade launchers that killed uh, Sterling's Revenge, because they barely have any kills on anything. It was just uh, we parked our uh, grenade launchers a little bit uh, unfortunately, it seems. But we're fine. We're gonna grab some leadership. Because we are gonna go and fight some uh, some uh, uh, vampires now, you me. but we are gonna want this big old tick of uh, replenishment. So how does this look in their territory? Move. Not very different, so we're just gonna move in. So, we have those guys. We also need to go up north. And, oh, dears. Um, Reckland is not doing great here. There is a lot of chaos corruption. Yeah, so it seems like Festus... Oh, I have not been paying attention. <laughs> okay, uh, Festus, Draka, and... Uh, probably not the Beastmen. Well, this is undivided. Although... He can make undivided too, but he seems to be doing mostly, mostly Nurgle, because I think he can do undivided. But maybe this is uh, Kasrak's doing, which, uh, yeah, we might have to hel help out with that. Do not waste my but this is plenty of replenishment, so we're just gonna go and fight some vampires. Let's just grab medical reserves, I guess. We're gonna want... Want the oh wait we are level fourteen we get golden mask and we can get strong stronger than steel because we want to get to that that's fine we we can't really recruit them yet can't really rec do anything with that yet either this we're gonna get because uh, well we do have a free company militia and the outriders and handguard units are gonna. Be very good with more missile strength and ammunition. And this is going to be good for all of them. So we're going to grab these two. And Oh, we need all of them. Never mind. So I guess we're going to grab all of them. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, let's just get some damage. And I guess next episode is going to be the Vampire Wars. And let's just see, go have a look north with you. Okay, there's Vlad. They have a lot of scary stuff. So we might want to keep together a little bit, a little bit, because these are scary. And now that we have war wagons, we could grab this, but they don't have any missiles really, unless they got archers, but I don't know if they usually do that. Either way. Um, we need one more tear to be able to get the non cannon foundry, which is going to be oh so good. So we're just going to grab some uh, growth, some uh, industry. And I suppose we can just wait four turns and upgrade this again. And just get that. Because then we get rocket batteries. And that's that's the goal. So... Hello, Thorgrim. You want military access for money. I can accept that. That sounds good. Oh! Greenskins attack Salzamund. Um, oh, we're losing a bit of money, but I think we're just gonna pay prestige. We got plenty of prestige. So, just hire some mercenary. And it's decisive. Oh, that is very decisive. Yeah, we're fine. So, it's all to resolve that. And we get a nice chunk of change. Very nice. And now our artillery is shooting even faster. The Empire so, we are going to need to deal with all of this. But we're going to do that in the next episode. So, the question is, do we go east and strike at their homeland? And just see if we can pull them over there. But then Nuln is going to be pretty exposed. 
And we don't want to lose Gnome. We worked hard to get Gnome. So, I think we might just go up the center and uh, hit Vlad. Because they can't quite reach Gnome. At oh, okay, he can. <laughs> he can reach Gnome. Uh, well, we're not at war with them yet, so we could just move in there. Start moving over there, hit Flensburg next turn. Yeah, but either way, we're gonna figure this out in next episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.